Greetings programs! Neo Mega Man back again for episode 33 of Neo's Mugen Saturday Showdown. We got five big fights coming at you tonight, and oh boy, we got a double premiere match going up for our first singles match. Shiva, the Shokan warrior from Mortal Kombat 3, gonna be taking on Top Man from Mega Man 3. Oh boy, this, uh, this promises to be an interesting fight, folks. So let's not waste any time, get to a random stage, and watch the fireworks begin. Shiva ready, Top Man ready. Here we go. Alright, Top Man gets these started with a couple of flying tops there. Shiva trying to block, get in with a jump kick, but no, Top Man coming in hard. Big melee combo, big aerial right to it. Oh, spinning top, tripping up Shiva. Another big aerial combo right into the super top spin. Good gravy, Shiva getting wrecked already. Oh, big throw right to an uppercut from Shiva. Oh, big triple kick combo. Top man again with the flying tops. Right to an air, right to another aerial combo. Shiva, oof, manages to counter out with a jump kick. Misses a fireball. Oh, top man again with the super uh, top spin there. Oh, ooh, Shiva missed a couple of melee shots there. Gets a big aerial combo for her trouble. Oh, man, Top Man managed to counter Shiva's teleport slam. Oh, right into the Super Blade special, and that's all she wrote for Shiva. <laughs> Round two, let's see if Shiva can bring it back here. Oh, wow, Top Man gets things started with a couple of floating tops right into another aerial combo. Shiva right to a throw with a high kick there. Oh, Top Man missed a... Spinning kick there. Oh, another sh uh, slam right to a throw there. Top Man gets hit by a fireball. Counter Shiva's teleporting stomp again. The oh, Top Man misses the uh, the super metal blade. The oh, Top Man slides away from another attack. Gets hit with the earthquake stomp. The oh, another uh, throw right to a high kick. Top Man looks like he dodges the fireball. Another throw to a high kick. Shiva trying to get oh, another throw to a high kick. Top Man could be in trouble here. Another tripping, uh, oh, we're into an aerial combo. The, oh, well, Top Man knocks her away. Oh, gets hit with the teleporting stomp, though. Top Man in trouble. Oh, that's all she wrote for Top Man in round number two. We're going to round three here, folks. These competitors are evenly matched. All right, Top Man gets these started with some floating tops. Misses the uh, tripping top. Slides out of the way. Oh, counters to Shiva's teleporting slam. And again, hits her with a few floating tops. Hits her with the tripping top and gets uppercutted for his trouble. Again, Shiva trips over the tripping top. Another throw to a high kick. Top man, oh, big time super top spin kick there. Another big uh, floating top. Or not floating top. A couple of tripping tops. Right to an air. Oh, big aerial combo. Shiva in trouble. Top man controlling the pace of this match so far. Oh, gets hit with the earthquake stomp twice. Oh, big super top doing some pretty good damage to Shiva. Looks like she's got to be careful of that tripping top. Oh, hits with fireball right to a big melee combo. Oh, it's a big sweep right to another big melee combo. Shiva trying to pull a last-second comeback. Hits hits Top Man with the uh, teleporting stomp right to a throw to a high kick. Top Man, oh, slide kick takes Shiva out. Well, that was right down to the wire, wasn't it, folks? Whew! Top Man and Shiva both proving that they are not to be messed with. But Shiva coming up just short in round number three, making Top Man the winner 2-1. Oh, brother. Well, if that's any uh, if that's any indication about how the rest of the show is going to go, we're in for quite a, quite a treat, huh? Okay. So, enough out of me. That's our first singles match done. I'll be right back with our second singles match of the night. Don't go away. And welcome back, programs. It's time for singles match number two of episode 33. And looky, looky who we got here. Dimitri, the vampire lord from Darkstalkers. Going to be taking on Big Bad Seagalo. Oh boy. This is going to be an interesting singles clash. So uh, enough beating around the bush. Get to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy. <laughs> Dimitri ready. Sigalo ready. Here we go. 
All right, Dimitri gets it started with a spinning uppercut. Oh, big combo there. Dimitri, oh, gets countered out of a combo there. Sigalo gets a big uh, aerial shot. Oh, Dimitri trying to get in hard. Oh, oh, wow. Dimitri so far in control of this match. Kind of pushing Sigalo back in the corner. I think Sigalo, oh, wow, got the dead ringer going there. Oh, Dimitri countered, countered Sigalo now. That was interesting. Oh, sucker punch right into the big red laser uh, saber. Oh, wow, big combo from Sigalo. Not a good place to be for Dimitri. A big trip there. Oh, another kick right into the big red laser saber, right to the genocide cutter. Oh, another genocide cutter. Oh, big sucker punch. Oh, another big spinning uppercut from Dimitri. Gets a uh, couple of fireballs through. Big melee combos getting blocked by Sigalo. The, oh, super fireball combo on Sigalo. Not a good place to be. The, whoa, looks like Sigalo missed a big green laser kick. That was unusual. Sigalo, oh, counters Dimitri right into a big laser saber. Is that going to do it, folks? Yes, it does. Kaboom, indeed, you. Whoa, that was weird. Dimitri better pull something off here in round number two or else Sigalo's going to take this match hard. Oh, Dimitri managed to avoid a counter there. Oh, big super melee combo on Sigalo. He was not expecting that. Again, Dimitri fighting back hard here, getting an early start. D oh, big counter punch right into a couple of genocide cutters. Right to a big sucker punch. D oh, big green laser kick missed again. Not a we That's kind of weird. Uh-oh. Sigalo getting energy drained. Oof. That's uh, that's not good news for Sigalo. Dimitri fighting hard. Gets a projectile off there. Oh, big wall throw right to a genocide cutter. Right to a big juggling combo there. Misses the super genocide cutter. Sucker punch knocks Dimitri out of whatever the hell he was doing. Oh, co dead ringer again. Another, oh, another dead ringer. That was unusual. Never see uh, Sigalo pull two dead ringers out in the middle of the match. Oh, Genocide Cutter right in the face. Oh, Dimitri getting comboed here. Oh, big red laser saber. And oh, the big uppercut palm. And that's all she wrote for Dimitri. Would be more valuable than this. Sigalo proven why he's still one of the top threats on my show. Taking Dimitri apart 2 0 with only a minimal amount of effort. Yeah, no maximum effort here today, folks. Okay. So that was singles match number two. Means we're on to our doubles matches of the evening. So, like I said, don't go away. You don't want to miss a second of this action. And we are back, folks, with our first big doubles match of the evening. And we've got a couple of teams who haven't seen action in a long time. Well, sort of. Exile and Zenith, the uh, other... Or, well, Team uh, Shades of Manhattan, another evil bad guy team, going to be taking on the ninjas, Hanzo and Fuma. Yeah, I like both these teams, so it's going to be sad to see one of them lose. But, uh, you know, that's how things go. Okay, so enough messing around. On to a random stage. Time to kick ass. All right, Hanzo and Fuma ready. Exile and Zenith ready. All right, Hanzo gets things started with a big uh, rolling cutter there. Oh, another rolling cutter from uh, Fuma. Big air throw from Hanzo. A big dropping aerial combo. Fuma pairing off with uh, Zenith in the other corner. Exile kind of getting rocked by Hanzo. Oh, big flaming uppercut on Zenith. Oh, Hanzo gets the ninja air dive combo. Big, uh, big damage on Exile. The, oh, Zenith or Exile getting double teamed to his demise there. Zenith now all all on his own. Hanzo and Fuma really in control of this match. Oh, oh, oh wow. Hanzo and Fuma barely breaking a sweat in round number one. Let's see if Exile and Zenith can maybe pull something off here and bring it back in round number two. Another big rolling cartwheel kick for or another big rolling cartwheel. Oh, big rolling fireball from Fuma. Big flaming uppercut hits both of the other team. Another big rolling cartwheel, big flaming shuriken from Hanzo. Big throw there from Fuma. Oh, big throw there from Z uh, Zenith there. Oh, big explosive air dive from Fuma. Exile and Zenith trying to fight their way out of the corner, but Hanzo and Fuma just pressing their offense way too hard. 
Oh, Zenith gets a big counter there, but Zenith is down. And the aerial throw missed the uh, explosive air dive there. Aerial throw took Exile out. Hanzo and Fuma again, barely breaking a sweat in round number two. Boy, that was a spanking and a half. Well, that was certainly quick. Hanzo and Fuma getting themselves a rather easy, apparently, 2-0 over Exile and Zenith. Oh well, sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. Alright, so that's our first doubles match of the evening down. Don't go away, folks. we got our second big doubles match of the evening and our big 4v4 main event coming your way real soon. So, be back shortly. And welcome back to our big second doubles match of the evening. And looky, looky who's in this one, folks. Oh, baby. We got two big time major teams going head to head. And somebody's got to come out the winner. So, KLB, Kung Lao and Batosai, with their upgrades, going to take on the veterans on my show who have been around probably since the beginning. I actually forget. But, uh, yeah, two longtime veterans, Major Dutch Schaefer and Lieutenant Lin Kurosawa. Will the projectile spam be more than enough to counter Kung Lao and Batosai's nonstop offense? Or will the teleporting and sword slashes be more than enough to overcome the guns and firepower and swords of Major Dutch Schaefer and Lieutenant Kurosawa? Only one way to answer that question, let's get to the ring. Or whatever, whatever stage happens to come up, and see what happens. <laughs> Kung Lao Batosai ready. Dutch and Lin ready. Here we go. All right, Batosai gets things started with a big time sword combo. Lieutenant Kurosawa tries to break things up with a gunshot. Oh, but KLB pushing their offense. Big sword uppercut there from uh, Lieutenant Kurosawa. Oh, big time. Uh, looks like she's kind of getting the hat throw special off on Kung Lao, giving him a taste of his own medicine. Uh, oh, big flamethrower special doing some pretty good damage to Kung Lao and Batosai. Uh-oh, there's the hat. That's going to do some serious damage. Dutch Schaefer getting torn apart by that one. Oh, big teleporting kick backfired as... Uh, Oh man, big uppercut there on uh, Dutch Schaefer. Oh, Commander Schaefer down. Uh, oh man, Lieutenant Kurosawa blocked the hat, but unfortunately got downed by the sword combo of Batosai. Well, they pushed it hard in round number one. Let's see if they can bring it back in round number two. All right, first things first. Dutch gets things started. Dutch and Lin get things started with a projectile spam, trying to keep their distance now. But Major Dutch Schaefer trying to get in there, but unfortunately, that's probably not a good idea. Batosai, oh, kind of got in a sandwich position there. Batosai, oh, Kung Lao had uh, Dutch, or had Lieutenant Kurosawa pinned there. Batosai missed a big special, oh, big projectile spam. Uh oh, here comes the hat again. Looks like Dutch managed to avoid the cat coming back on him. Oh, big melee combo from, uh, from Kung Lao there. Oh, big grenade from Dutch. Another big throw combo from, uh, Lieutenant Kurosawa. Oh, another big flamethrower hits Batosai. If they can get rid of Batosai, Kung Lao might be in trouble. But unfortunately, Commander or Major Dutch Schaefer and Lieutenant Kurosawa. Oh, there goes Dutch. Lin in trouble now. Big hat throw. Oh, she tries to get a major uppercut combo. Manages to get a couple things through. Man, she's fighting for her life here. But unfortunately, she's sandwiched between Kung Lao and Batosai. Quite the pickle. Big uppercut kick. Looks like uh, Batosai knocks her away with a big uh, gear special. Oh, the big jumping downward sword slash. Takes out Lin in the second round. And Kung Lao and Batosai do it again, folks. The Hall of Famers, unfortunately, 2-0. Win over Dutch and Lin. Well, that's unfortunate, folks. Dutch and Lin fought hard. But they just didn't have the gas to overcome Kung Lao and Batosai's unstoppable offense. Well, folks, that's four fights down. That means all we've got left is our big-time 4v4 main event. So I can guarantee you, you don't want to go away. The action is coming your way real soon. Be back shortly with that. 
And welcome back to the main event of Neo's Mugen Saturday Showdown, episode 33. Oh boy, this is going to be a hot one, folks. The Avengers A-Team, Captain America, Spider-Man, Thor, and the Incredible Hulk. Going to be taking on Team, well, I would say Team Jill Sandwich, but now they're in 4v4 as Team Resident Evil. Chris. Chris Redfield, Leon, Jill Valentine, and Claire Redfield. This uh, this promises to be pretty cool, folks. Unfortunately for Team Avengers, uh, Team Resident Evil won the off-screen coin toss and has won home field advantage. So this place, this, this place, this fight will be taking place on the Raccoon City Police Department stage. Oh boy, hope I'm ready for this. Forgive my commentary if it gets out of hand, folks, because this, this is going to be nuts. Let's light this candle. Let's see what unfolds. The Avengers ready. Team Resident Evil ready? Here we go. All right, immediately Thor and the Hulk get things started with a big couple of melee combos, big aerial shoulder tackle. Oh, Hulk with a big super punch. Gets shotgun from behind by Leon. Oh, Captain America coming in, big charging star. Thor with the big lightning bolt. Spider-Man, big super web throw. Thor coming in hot with a uh, super special dive there. Oh, wow. Hulk coming in hot. Brings the Gamma Crush. And good gravy on a cracker. The Avengers absolutely mauled the Team Resident Evil. Let's hope Team Resident Evil can head, pull something off here in round number two. Oh, not like that they are. Immediately, the entire team gets super web throwed by Spider-Man right into a supercharging star. Big aerial uppercut. Another big super web throw coming in. Another supercharging star. Good God, the Avengers are going in hot. Big rock slide special from uh, the Hulk. Another supercharging star. Oh, wow, the Avengers getting caught with a uh, big super combo there from Leon and uh, Chris. Maybe maybe Team Resident Evil has it in them to to win round number two. If they pull it off, that'd be that'd be amazing. Well, Team Resident Evil coming in hard. Looks like Leon's down. No, wait, uh, that's Claire. Claire's down. Man, uh, Chris and Leon fighting hard. Sorry, my uh, voice gave out there for a second. Oh, Thor! Thor gets the big super invincible combo off with Hulk's big time shoulder tackle oh man Thor and Beta Ray Bill just absolutely mauling J Jill and Leon oh wow Spider-Man kind of flipping out there doing a celebratory dance Jesus man the Avengers the Avengers A team showing why they are in fact one of the toughest teams on my roster no ifs, ands, or buts about it. 2-0 victory over Team Resident Evil, despite Team RE's incredible effort in the end of round two to bring it back. <sighs> Damn, folks. That was something else. Like I said, sorry about my commentary. Got a little out of hand there. But that's all she wrote for Neo's Mugen Saturday Showdown, episode 33. I am your host, Neo Mega Man. Thank you all for watching. Do what you do in the comments section below. I'll see you next time, folks. I'm your host, Neo Mega Man, once again, signing out. End of line.